part of working at a company full of 80 tech experts is that not all of us have the same opinion. And if these walls could talk, they tell you we all debate what's the best cloud storage for Android. So let's settle this once and for all. Hi guys, my name is Alex and I'm gonna be a new face for the Cloud Wars videos. We're gonna have a lot of fun together. When it comes to cloud storage apps for Android, you've got options, and I mean like a lot of options. We've tested pretty much everything out there for Android and have been for several years now. I'll be straight with you, not all cloud storage is created equal. Each of these services has its own superpower and you know, some unexpected weaknesses too. So today, let me show you what actually matters security and privacy, sync and sharing features, speed performance, and of course, pricing. Keep watching until the end for the number one reveal. All right, let's start with my third pick, Google Drive. Look, there's a reason why over 2 billion people use it, and I get it, I really do. But let me break down the security stuff for you because this is really interesting. So Google Drive security is almost everything we would want to see. You've got your AES 256-bit encryption and two-factor authentication. But it's missing something really important. Zero knowledge encryption. What does that mean? It's like giving someone a key to your home and hoping that they don't look around your private possessions. That's what you're doing with Google Drive. No zero knowledge means access to your data. If you're serious about privacy, you can use a third party encryption service like Cryptometer, it's my go-to service, but there are plenty of others. When it comes to Google Drive, there is a slight workaround, okay? Enterprise Plus or education plans, they offer client-side encryption, but all other plans don't. It's frustrating. And when it comes to backing up your data, Google's got data centers everywhere. Okay, we're talking North America, South America, Europe, and Asia. But unlike other services, you can't actually control which center will host your files. And Google says they don't use your drive stuff for ads. But come on, I think we all know how these things work, right? Your data is basically currency. And what really makes me raise an eyebrow is that they can scan everything you upload. Yeah, they say it's to keep everything legal and safe, which, okay, fair enough, but let's be real. Do you think big tech companies ever collect data and then think, nah, we probably don't need this? You think I'm stupid, son. All right, let's talk about the fun stuff, features. No surprise, but Google Drive comes baked right into many Android devices. Okay, it's pretty convenient, right? But you know what's actually kind of amazing? I've been using this with my team for like over 10 years now. And let me tell you, the Android app, it just works, okay? Exactly how you want it to, like no weird quirks or anything like this. You can upload stuff, share files, open up documents, and everything syncs instantly. Oh, and there's the scanner feature I use all the time. Okay, one sec. You just take your phone, which is like your camera nowadays for everyone. You hover it over document, tap, and just like that, it's in your drive. Okay, so super handy for receipts and documents when you're on the go. And by the way, aside from Google Drive, there's also a separate Google Photos app for Android. And here, you can actually manage your photos and videos run automated backups, and even create reels and montages. There's actually a lot you can do with it. So if you just want something for photo and video, give this a try. Let's talk about where Google Drive though really shines. Collaboration. And I mean, my remote team practically lives in Google Workspace, okay? You've got docs, sheets, slides, everything you need for actually working together. And see, everything you create automatically saves to your drive. And sharing, super easy. You can give editing permissions, viewing only, you know, honestly, whatever you need. And honestly, if collaboration is your thing, this might be your best bet right here. All right, let's kick out about speed for a minute. Our testing setup was in Dublin, Ireland. We use a one gigabit connection, but we actually like throttle it down to 100 megabit for consistency. And then we put together a five gigabyte test folder containing you know, your everyday documents and data, like documents, videos, photos. How did Google Drive do? 
pretty good actually. You know, we're looking at about seven minutes for both upload and download. So it ranks as one of the fastest cloud storage services. And to put that in perspective, okay, you've got Ice Drive and OneDrive in that same ballpark, though it's not quite catching up to iDrive speeds. But hey, you know, we're talking differences of like seconds here and not minutes. All right, let me break down Google's pricing. So you've got three plans. Well, technically three visible plans. There's the basic plan with 100 gigabytes. Then there's this kind of hidden standard plan with 200 gigabytes, as well as three more hidden plans with a massive amount of storage. You can actually only find these plans after you already subscribe to one of the other plans, upgrade or downgrade to the 200 gigabyte through your account settings. And then, You've got the premium and AI premium plans with two terabyte each. Same storage space, just the AI plans are baked in with Google's Gemini tools. Moving on to my second pick, IceDrive. And pff, wow, they really stepped up the security game here. So they do things slightly differently with encryption. Instead of the popular AES, IceDrive uses two fish encryption. I know it sounds like something from a video game, right? But it's equally secure. And as far as I'm aware, IceDrive is actually the only cloud storage using the security method. Plus, they have zero knowledge encryption, okay? So even iStrive literally can't peek into your files. Okay, the tech just won't let them. Though I should point out, it's only available for paid users. They've also got the two-factor authentication set up and single sign-on. Privacy-wise, they're following all UK and EU regulations, so you have plenty of control over your data. Okay, they don't scan your files or share data with third parties without your permission. Let's check out the features. First off, the Android app is super intuitive. Like you can switch the gray and white scheme to a dark mode if you're not loving it or if your phone's display makes you look a bit off and their upload feature automatically backs up your camera images and videos. Okay, think about this. No more, I'll do it later, it just happens. But what I really love is their backup wizard. Okay, right there in the menu, it makes backing up your entire device kind of painless. Kind of? You know, it runs completely separate from your photo backup. So if you only wanna back up certain folders or apps, you can do that without messing up with your whole photo setup. Ice Drive may also be a good option for video creators. Okay, there are no file size limits. So you can upload 8K videos as long as you have enough storage space. There's a built-in media player too, so you can actually watch and review your content. Let's talk about collaboration. It's pretty straightforward actually. Okay, you can send links to anyone, though you will want the premium plans for the fancy sharing features like passwords and timeouts for links. Oh, and iStrive comes with basic built-in previews that let you see, but not edit your files. The document viewer gives you a read-only look at Word docs, spreadsheets, and slideshows right in your browser, but you can create a document from scratch. And there's no collaboration features for working with others. If you're looking to work on documents with others, or you know, need to make quick edits, you'll have to unfortunately look elsewhere. Google Drive would be better for that kind of a teamwork. Now, speed. So. We ran iStrive through exactly the same test course as all the others. And wow, just pff, wow. iStrive is the fastest cloud storage service around. Remember that five gigabyte test folder I mentioned? iStrive absolutely flew through it. Okay, around seven minutes for upload and download. Let's break down the pricing. They start with a 10 gigabyte free plan to test the waters with their Pro One plan, offering the best value though at one terabyte of storage. You can choose between a monthly, a yearly, or two year subscription with longer commitments offering, to be honest with you, the better monthly rates. There are other plans available for those though with different storage needs and budgets. What really sets iStrive apart is their lifetime plans though. A one-time payment for permanent access to your storage, their Life 2K plan, which gives you two terabytes of storage forever, offers particularly good value for those willing to make the upfront investment. And if you want all the details about iStripe, I've got a full guide linked in the description below. Drum roll, please. From my number one pick, sync.com. And trust me, there's a reason why our entire team at CloudWords is kind of obsessed with this one. 
it's not just that it's like super secure. Oh boy, it's really, really secure. But it's got this whole package of features that just works so well. Okay, let's geek out about security though. We're looking at 256-bit encryption and 2048-bit RSA keys. They also offer two-factor authentication and single sign-on capabilities like iStrive. For the privacy-savvy folks out there, they're GDPR compliant and of course, being based in Canada, they follow PIPDA rules as well. And what gives Sync.com the edge is its zero knowledge encryption. Before you blast me and say, but iStrive also has it. Yes, yes, that is true. But Sync.com is one of the few services to offer it for free. So even Sync.com's free users can have peace of mind. You know, their files are 100% private. Oh, I just love the sound of that. Whew. Let's talk about the features. The Android app is super simple and easy to navigate. Moving stuff around feels so natural. You know, it's basically like using your phone's regular file manager and everything's right where you'd expect it to be too. Let me tell you about their file versioning. Even on the free plan, you get 30 days of file history. But wait, 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 it gets better. Upgrade to paid, now we're talking 180 days or even a full year. And trust me, this has saved me more times than I care to admit. Okay, sharing is pretty slick too. You can share via links or emails, and if you're on a paid plan, you can just set who gets to make edits to files. Even free users get password protection on their shared links. So I can only accidentally paste the link in the wrong chat like all of us. Yeah, been there, been there, done that. Oh man, I'm on the wrong floor again. <laughs> but with password protection, you don't need to worry. As without that password, no one's getting in. Okay, paid users get all the premium features, expiration dates on links, download limits, and something called enhanced privacy. Basically, everything's encrypted end to end, your files are your files, period. But you can even set up folders where people can only upload stuff. Like for example, me, I use this all the time with clients. Okay, instead of getting documents scattered across like 12 different emails, they just pop them right in there, Super easy for me. Let's talk about speed. Sync.com took about 14 minutes to upload and 15 minutes to download our test folder. Remember that folder? Yeah, not exactly setting any speed records here, I know. But we also noticed our CPU was working a bit harder than usual. But you know what? That's actually a price worth paying for the highest level of security and privacy. By the way, if you're curious about how other services performed, like the really fast ones, Ah, the not so fast ones. I dropped a link to our full comparison in the description below. Let's wrap this up with pricing. Sync.com offers some of the cheapest paid plans we've seen. You can just start with a free five gigabyte plan. Then there's the basic plan, which gives you two terabytes. Perfect if you're just one person with way too many files. Then there's the solo professional with six terabytes. And they throw in premium features like the secure storage, advanced sharing, and custom branding even. For teams, you've got your standard plan with one terabyte per user and the Teams Plus unlimited plan. And yes, it's exactly what it sounds like. You also get unlimited storage custom branding, phone support, and admin delegation. If you want to really dive into the nitty gritty of what you get with each plan, I've got a full video breaking it all down, links up here in the corner. Honestly, you can't really go wrong with any of these options. But if you're all about security, sync.com is your go-to. Sure, it's not the fastest kid on the block, but hey, good things take time. And iStrive hits that sweet spot between speed and security. And Google Drive? still the king of collaboration. So it really comes down to what matters most to you. Drop a comment below and let me know what you're using right now. And if you've tried any of these three, I'd love to hear your experience. And hey, if this helped you out, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more tech reviews that actually make sense. Thanks for watching, catch you in the next one.